just don't get it. Oh, well, here we go again. People in West Virginia are upset because the future of coal mining looks bleak. Well, I don't blame them. Huh? I, for one, will miss seeing thousands of underpaid, undereducated ah. West Virginians mm. going into grimy, coal dust polluted mining pits to face black lung disease and the inherent risk of collapsing lungs and collapsing and shafts, shafts right. which will trap them in there yep. and they can die without oxygen while what they're dying for is belching poisonous gases and sulfuric acid into our precious ozone yeah, layer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm gonna miss that yeah, a yeah, whole yeah, bunch. Yeah, yeah. So will the miners. What, the kids? No, not the kids. The kids are gonna be able to breathe easier. Well, there's a blessing. Now here in Little Rock, Arkansas, they just released records of some of the most unusual names in the state. Oh, really? What, what, like what? Uh, Cleora Roach Schufelder. Yeah. Mary Carol Longernecker, Verbal Funderbeck, <laughs> Zagnut D'Artagnan. Yeah, well, I remember popular names in Indiana when I grew up, uh, like Zeke and Levi and yeah, yeah. Uh, Jacob and Amos, you know, the Amish names. Yeah. And, well, here's and Quentin and El Bush. Dante. And my Uncle Anil Fitch. G. Scheitel, my Grandma Hazel. Dick Fangerbone. My mother Audrey. Shovel, who, who went to school with Arthur Jones, Ritus. Can you believe I that? I eat a quaddle bear <laughs> bomb. My best friend was Dayton Arizona Dallas. Zipper. We Yoders were everywhere. Baby Cherry, or Aurora Borealis. I really don't think Bunyan those names snipes. are all that unusual. Not to mention James Biggerstaff Alcroft. Biggerstaff? Yes. Yeah, so it's a Family trait, really, rather than a family name. <laughs> uh, speaking of funny names, look at this one. Oh, yeah. Juno, Alaska. Yeah. Tonya and Random Seal Beater. Yeah. Well, they had to move to Alaska with a name <laughs> like that. They just bought their local yogurt store. It says here they were spending $150 a week on yogurt. Yeah, it was cheaper for them just to buy the store, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So I guess you're going to buy that uh, weed dispensary in the valley on Winnetka, huh? On Winnetka? Are you crazy? Yeah. I'm going to buy them all. <laughs> oh, well, here comes the Winnetka bus. Ah, great. Let's get started. Yeah, you got your checkbook with you, buddy? No, but I got my lighter. Ooh, <laughs> magic bus, magic bus. All magic aboard bus, the magic, magic bus. bus. Boomers on a Bench is based on actual and factual freshly broken news. It's all re re real, folks. <laughs> 